Let's head to Nebraska. And Rick, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Is that Rick or Red? Rick. Rick, okay, Rick. Yes, sir. How can we help you? Yes, uh, about six and a half years ago, I started losing my vision. And I went through like about a week of tests. And my eyes are fine. The anatomy of my eyes is fine, but it's my optic nerve that's damaged. Is okay. there anything out yes, there? Yes, sir. That, uh, How old are you and what do you weigh? I'm 63 and I weigh 174. Okay. Have you shrunk any since you were 20 years of age? Like? Shrunk in height? Oh, probably some, probably maybe an inch. Okay. Well, that's the cause of your optic nerve damage. Uh, Char, what's happening here? Um, he's losing his cartilage and everything. and. Well, he's got osteoporosis. Yeah, osteoporosis. And... Yeah, he's got osteoporosis. He has degenerative disc disease, as you said. And when you have osteoporosis, the tunnels that nerves go through, remember that the optic nerve is a cranial nerve. There's 12 of them on each side. And this is when you get Bell's palsy, your face slumps, and you think you've had a stroke. You get trigeminal neuralgia. You get pain in your face. And, of course, dentists like to do um, root canals to get rid of the pain. They'll get rid of the pain. because they pull the nerve out of the tooth. And then uh, you get um, gradual deafness. Uh, that's the eighth cranial nerve being squeezed. And then you can also get tinnitus the auditory branch of the atrial cranial nerve being squeezed, and all kinds of other things based on which cranial nerve is being squeezed. Well, when you get a gradual squeezing of the optic nerve, that means your skull has osteoporosis. And hang on, we'll be back, and Rick will tell you what you need to do to rebuild your skull and encourage an improvement in your vision after these messages. Doctors don't mind the ZBS radio network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Divinity, 90 for Life Crusade. And, uh, Doug, we're going right back to Nebraska and Rick. Okay, and Char, what would you do for this guy? 174 pounds. Um, he's got osteoporosis of the skull, uh, which is squeezing his optic nerve, and we need to help, help his optic nerve recover. What would you give him? i uh, give him two healthy, <clears throat> excuse me, two healthy bone and joint packs. Okay, two healthy bone and joint packs, perfect. And then what would you do to really stimulate some uh, new cells in that optic nerve? Well, the... The, um, Immor, Immor. Immortalium and or the uh, Fucoid Z might do it too, but Immortalium. Yeah, Immortalium. And also for the vision, what would you do to help him for nutrition for the eye? Vision FX. Perfect. Okay, so Rick, uh, Shar is correct. Uh, two of the uh, healthy bone and joint packs. Okay, this is to support optimal um, maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone matrix, bone itself, and let that canal open up and take the pressure off the optic nerve, and Char is exactly correct, the immortalium. I'd want you to take three of those twice a day, and that is to uh, support stem cell function, stem cell production in, in the body, including in the brain and the optic nerve and the eye and so forth. And uh, go ahead and get two bottles of that a month, uh, three of those tablets twice a day, and then the vision FX, three of those twice a day to get really specific nutrients for the eye itself. And give us a call every couple of weeks because uh, you can see some beneficial results. Certainly within 60, 90 days, you're going to see something. And so do call us uh, so people can see how you're doing.